Here we are in Microsoft Teams where I'm going to outline how you can create some breakout rooms for your online classroom or, or potentially for your workshop. Um, the benefit of having a breakout room is you can allocate students or participants a particular group and you can send them off to go and work privately and then you can check in on them um, periodically to see uh, how they're going and whether or not they might need some support. So to do this, well, we're here in Microsoft Teams and I've created four different channels for my class. I've got the general channel of which every um, person within my team is a, is a member of. And then I've created groups one, two and three. And those uh, individual channels are locked so only specific people can view and have access to them. Um, you can see um, as per my post here to my class that each student has been allocated to one of the groups. So when they log into their Teams um, app, they will only see the general and whichever one of these uh, group channels that they have been allocated to. Now before I would start my uh, actual lesson, I would start the breakouts for, for each video conference. So to do that, I'll click down here on the meet now and click meet now again to open up that video chat so we've got the video conference here for the general groups where everyone will be able to be part of and then to set up the breakout rooms I'll go into each individual group and do the same thing so we've got a different video running for each different channel as you add more and more video chats within one team concurrently, you'll notice that any of your pre-existing calls will go on hold. So my presence within that meeting has actually been paused, even though the meeting is, is still continuing. You can't be within two different video conferences at one time. It's important that at the beginning of the class, you identified to the students that they will be going into each breakout room where they'll be participating with particular members of their of the team or of the class. So the way I would run this is I would invite everyone in and I'd get everyone participating in the general video conference and then I would tell them, okay, it's time for you to go to your breakout room. So they would select their channel, which they're individually allocated to, and then they would go there and they would click join. As you can see, I'm on hold in three of my video conferences, and I have one which I'm currently within. And if you would like to swap between different video conferences, for example, you might want to go back to group one and check how they're going, you could just press the resume icon and then you will pause your previous call and you'll be ported into that next group's video chat. It's really important to remember that you don't hang up, otherwise the call or the breakout room will be terminated. So that's one way that you can set up breakout rooms within Microsoft Teams to promote some collaboration between your participants and get them to start doing a little bit of work independently.